It's pretty scary, actually. Canadians across the country are finding it more difficult to keep up with their grocery bills. Some items, I don't know, they seem to have doubled in price rather than the, you know, 5 or 10 percent that they're talking about. I don't know how families of four or five are doing it, honestly. An Angus Reid study finds four and five Canadians have switched their household menu to keep up with the rising cost of food. Many people are making fewer trips to the grocery store, switching to cheaper brands and changing what they put in their carts. I'm not shopping every week like I used to. We're retired, so we're fortunate in that we can go and shop around. I used to do uh, groceries once a week and now I find myself cutting back and actually budgeting. Supply chains continue to be an issue, with transport delays, job losses, store closures or COVID outbreaks affecting how quickly items can be moved to stores, with customers often feeling the domino effect of delays. The economic environment has, has been anything but predictable and companies need predictability in order to plan and transport things. The more time you take to move things around, uh, you have to pay more salaries, you have to pay more fuel and so on and so forth. Sylvain Charlebois, director of the Agri-Food Analytics Lab at Dalhousie University, says the cost of commodities is also a factor. Fuel prices are up. Also, grain prices are up as well. So it's costing more to produce food and buy ingredients as well to manufacture food. On top of all the previous issues, the current war in Ukraine is also having an effect. If you look at grain prices, they have increase even more as a result of the conflict, bringing more uncertainty. But Charlebois says with COVID-19 restrictions coming to an end in Canada, there should be more certainty, which will help rising food costs. He hopes to see food prices more normalized by fall. Charmin Samani, Global News.